Bell's Secret. Following a routine paired with Bell's Secret all natural and hydrating, plant-based brightening facial wash and moisturizer, acne eraser kits, black soaps, detox masks, and much, much more. You can rid yourself of dark spots, acne, and dry skin using Bell's Secret Gold Skin Collection. Your skin is the first part of your body everyone sees, and hydration is essential to keeping your skin healthy and slows down aging. Shop bellsecret.org for all of your plant-based skincare products now using the link below. All right, Carrie Kelly, how you doing? I'm doing good, Sasha. How you doing? Um, I could be better, but you know what? I'm not here for me. I'm I'm here for you. And I'm surprising with everything that has transpired. It's 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 kind of um, I'm in awe to hear you say that you're actually doing good now. Um, of course, we know that the the, um, the verdict has came in concerning your brother R. Kelly, Robert Kelly, mm-hmm. um, and we spoke uh, last time in Atlanta. Right. We're on your turf today. We're in your city. Okay. I, I decided to come to you because. I just couldn't imagine being you right now, you know, because you're really the last one standing. Your father, no. Your mother, no. Your grandmother, mm mm. Bruce Kelly, he's in, incarcerated. And now Robert Kelly, your brother, is incarcerated as well. And so you are pretty much, um, like I said, the, the last one standing. And I felt that. The Kelly family never really had a voice in all of this. And I know right. we could probably sit here for hours with family members, but I thought you were the most important because um, you spoke on, um, you had a chance to comment on this, on on your brother's situation before everything came down, before the indictment came down, mm-hmm. before the documentary that Lifetime did came out. Right. Um, of course, you and I had a bit of a struggle <laughs> introduction. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But we have came to put our differences aside and um, really shed light on some real things. And no one, no one understood or could convey, I guess, a picture, a true picture of who your brother was, except for you and, of course, him. But I don't think he's even... Um, allowed the public to see him for him. All we know is R. Kelly. Right. You know? Right. And I think that's why the Gail interview was so shocking to see him cry because we're used to seeing him here, but that interview, it kind of brought him, it it was in between. It, hum- it humanized him. It humanized him, but in yeah. a, in a not in a positive way per right. se, because right. you know, you're a Grammy award winner. You, you've been around the world. You've you've done amazing things. He's worked with everybody, and to see him on Gail's show, crying, and along with his girlfriends, it just kind of it, it was like I think the public should have started to get to know R. Kelly a long time ago. Versus, right. you know, there's PR R. Kelly, public relations, what they create this persona, right. and then there's Robert Kelly, right. and so. Um, and I think the reason your interview was so powerful is because you shed light on a lot of things that he would never go get into. And even though it's rightfully his story to tell, but I think um, it put a lot of things into perspective when you talked about your estranged sister, who is still estranged, Teresa Kelly. Yes. And you spoke about your mother and you spoke about a lot of the things that um, your brother that you saw go through. As a child, and and how that trickled into his adulthood, and he, and he's and to you, he was still the same person, that that vulnerable little kid. Despite all the success that he's had, he was still that vulnerable, scared little boy, and it was only doing what he was taught to do by your older sister Teresa. Correct. Who we still have not heard from. Right. And probably won't. Probably won't hear from him. But we're hearing from you. And I and I and I I scratched my head when the when the when the when the verdict came down and he was guilty on all charges, your brother, uh Robert Kelly, who goes by the name R. Kelly. Um, and he's facing up to 140 <coughs> years in prison, which means he's not gonna get out. And not not including all the other states that he has to uh uh 
uh, face charges in. But I mean, the feds got their their day and now the states have to get their day as well. So I'm going to rephrase. I'm, I'm going to ask you this question again. How are you doing? I'm doing good, but I'm not doing good in that um, in that state as far as like me being able to sustain mentally, um, stay above the water when it comes to just not really losing my mind. Because in regardless to what people think or things that I have said or may have said in the past, and, you know, a lot of people question different things like why, why now? Well, the the now is, well, first of all, yesterday was my mom's birthday, my mama Joanne, um, Kelly, our mama. You know, she would have turned 74 years old. And my mama been kind of dealing with me spiritually mm -hmm. because out of all her kids, I'm the only one that really been going to her gravesite, really visiting her um, with extra time on my hands and different things like that. And my grandmother's buried there. So I can't help but go back to how we was raised and who raised us. Mm -hmm. Uh, who made us the men that we are. Um, different things, uh, morals and values that she instilled in us and taught us when she was living. I can't help but go back to that, you know, no matter what y'all going through, no matter if y'all arguing or whatever, you know, y'all brothers, y'all supposed to love each other. Teep and tongue gonna fall out, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta, you gotta get it right. <clears throat> you gotta get it together. So those were her wishes. So people probably don't understand like why, why now am, am I trying to be there for my brother? I can be a man and stand up and be accountable to say that I was immature. You know, I was dealing with some things and I was, I was angry at my brother for many different reasons, you know, that siblings and, and, you know, and family always be into it with each other. The only, you know, when did the anger start? Well, pretty much the anger started when we was well we was on tour you okay. know i mean as kids growing up we didn't get along <clears throat> excuse me like that um to the point where everything was perfect i mean you know we was just like the average average kids you know uh you know he might take my candy because he's my big brother and I might take his candy when I catch him slipping. Just different things that we did, you know, that normal kids did to each other. Um, basketball. Um, I might I might play basketball a little bit rough with him. He might play basketball a little bit rough with me, and so did Bruce. Mm -hmm. Kid, normal kid stuff. But when Robert became R. Kelly, um, People got to understand, we still looked at him as Robert, even though we was proud of his success and everything that he has accomplished. You know what I'm saying? This was all new to our family. So I actually went on tour with him and and I toured with him for six years. Uh, I was in all type of videos. I went overseas, uh, world tour, mm -hmm. 50 city tour, Rotterdam, England, Germany, New Amsterdam, all overseas. And, you know, he asked me to do that with him, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I was, I was, I was really proud that he, you know, happy that he asked me to do that with him. And I started getting noticed by different labels and different things of that nature. Um, and all of a sudden, you know, it came to a halt and it wasn't by my doing. All I know is, is I felt like I paid dues enough to be out there for six years away from my kids um, away from my wife that I'm who I was married to at the time, you know, I'm gone six years. So we are doing two, three tours in a year. So I didn't even get a chance to watch my kids grow up. So I'm dedicating time and, and, and my life to, you know, touring with my brother. And, you know, when I tried to venture off on my own, it was a lot of different things that transpired when it came to like, People telling me, you know, I, I, I heard a, a conversation of him and Barry Hankerson and Barry was telling him that it, it can only really be one star in the family, you know. But I didn't think that Robert really paid attention to that because where we came from and who we was raised by and how mama taught us to stick together and different things of that nature. Um, so I really didn't take that, that conversation serious. 
And then I just started noticing that, you know, um, when we was on tour, mm -hmm. I had to fall back from rapping. Um, I was out there rapping and he would tell me, you know, I had to fall back. And when I fell back from rapping, because this is his tour, you know, and then I couldn't sign autographs. Uh, management was telling them I couldn't sign autographs and things of that nature because people was getting to know me. I was, I was, you know, obviously doing something right for people to want my autograph. And I'm out there rocking shows with them from city to city and state to state. Um, and from that point, I felt like um, somebody that was called, it was people that was causing wedges between us that I didn't realize. I didn't know that all these people that was in Robert Corner or we thought was in his corner was really against him. They, they, really, they really wasn't for him. And the same people that was telling me that I need to be away because my brother don't want me around. So we both, <coughs> excuse me, fell into that um, situation where people was telling us different things because they knew we was a power team together. So a lot of people wanted to separate that because I actually, when I was on tour with my brother, I actually put my life on the line with a lot of many situations that he's been in with, with people uh, being jealous of him. So when you say put your, you, you put yourself in a lot of situations that could have caused you your life or um, you could have lost your life. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, it was, it was other artists, you know what I'm saying? Um, various artists that I, you know, care not to really mention their name. And that was kind of jealous of my brother. Okay. And I, and I seen it, uh, you know, um, uh, security, different, different situations that was out there. Um, some, some guys was mad because their girls was there cheering on R. Kelly, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, they backstage that, you know, trying to get an autograph and want to be violent because they couldn't get back there, you mm. know? Um, it was just different situations where, um, I, I basically put my life on the line because I, I didn't just do, um, songs on stage and things of that nature. I actually, when I came off stage, mm -hmm. 